Well, from health care to tariffs, former Vice President Joe Biden spoke exclusively to 12 News' senior political correspondent Gerald Harris about issues that matter most to voters moments before his rally at Tugalu College. Gerald, tell us about your interview. Yeah, the former vice president came to Mississippi to sure up votes. Experts I speak with say that if he loses this primary, it will indeed be an upset, considering he has won every other southern state that has voted so far. In front of hundreds of supporters, the former vice president made his pitch to voters. In a one-on-one -on -one interview, he outlined policy priorities, including ensuring over 200,000 working Mississippians. Under the Biden proposal, I take Obamacare, reinstate all the cuts that the president Trump made in them, and now we call a public option, a Medicare-like option. So anybody who qualifies for Medicaid would automatically be enrolled. He adds the proposal could not be stopped by Republicans from going into a effect. For trade and tariffs, he said he will crack down on China's efforts to steal intellectual property and work with allies. We can't let China write the rules, and we have to bring our allies who, the together we make up 50 percent of the world's economy, and say, China, here are the rules we're playing by. If you want to play, that's how you got to do it. Biden says an infrastructure bill, if he's elected, will be a top priority, investing billions into much-needed repairs. We have high-speed broadband as part of that, so rural areas are able to have the same opportunity you have in urban areas. We're going to make sure that we build back to, in terms of you talked about flooding, we build back to not what it was before, build back to what it is now. So there's a whole range of things we're going to do, and it's going to increase jobs. It's, these are going to be good jobs. It's going to increase economic growth and give everybody a fair shot. The former vice president says he will come back to Mississippi and compete if he gets the nomination. And Biden also says reforming the tax structure while giving the middle class a tax cut will also be one of his primary goals. Reporting at Tougaloo College, Gerald Harris, 12 News. Thank you, Gerald. And earlier in the day, Biden spoke to voters during a service at New Hope Baptist Church. 12 News' Alex Love has a reaction to his speech. If I'm the comeback kid, there's only one reason I've come back. The African-American community all around the country. Reflecting back on his years under President Barack Obama and his time as a senator, Vice President Biden praised the people of New Hope Baptist and others who've rallied behind him. This is somebody who gave us uh, the best federal judge in the Southern District. You can imagine Carlton Reeves. This is somebody who gave Gregory Davis to be the United States Attorney in the Southern District. This isn't just an election. I think this is a battle for the soul of America. Biden didn't hold back on calling out President Trump's controversial response to the chaos in Charlottesville, accusing him of fueling hate back in America. He said something no president has said. Oh, we're going back to Andrew Johnson. He said there are some very fine people on both sides. No one, no president has ever made that moral equivalent. We've got to turn this god-awful position into something positive. This message seemed to resonate with many people we spoke to following the speech, echoing their support for Biden's message and agenda. This man is definitely strong enough. He's very strong and uh, very strong-minded, and he would do a very good job as president. Pick up on what Obama has already done and reestablish some things that were destroyed with our current administration. Um, so the health care, uh, some things that were just put aside. Also in attendance was U.S. Senate candidate Mike Espy, who announced his endorsement for Joe Biden before the service. Reporting in Jackson, Alex Love, 12 News. Presidential candidate Joe Biden is not the only one making his mark on Mississippi. As 12 News' Anna Ferris reports, Senator Bernie Sanders' name is also gaining some attention. Day two of canvassing for Bernie Sanders was met with good weather and hopeful spirits, but also a special guest. Actor Danny Glover met with volunteers to share why he stands with Sanders. I believe what's in our hearts, all of our hearts, is a program that Dirk Bernie Sanders has placed on the table for us around climate change, global warming, around equity. New volunteers came out to canvas neighborhoods and talk with volunteers ahead of Tuesday's primary. Elizabeth Dunbar came with her grandson, and they say it's all about the next generation. Just, just help the ones that are coming behind us. We've had our chance. 
this. So now it's their turn. Don't skip. Don't be afraid to uh, make your voice count because as insignificant as you may feel, it's always important to place your vote because you never know you could be that deciding factor. Elizabeth says Sanders' values haven't changed since 2016 and appreciates his consistency. He didn't, he didn't shortstop nothing, you know, and I believe what he's doing is, is right, you know, it's right for us. Now, we need it now, not tomorrow, now. Glover took the time to meet and thank each volunteer and says their work and message matters. This could be a very important moment for not only for this, this state, but what else is happening around the country. We have a chance to kind of go and knock on the door and say, this is an issue right here. This is not what they want to, they want to say that we are entitled to. This is what we need and what we want. That's what this campaign is about. In Jackson, Anna Farish, 12 News. Danny Glover will speak again Monday with volunteers at Harmony Court Assisted Living Facility in Jackson. And speaking of Tuesday's primary election, we are just two days away. When you head to the polls March 10th, you will need a photo ID to vote. Acceptable forms of ID are a driver's license, passport, firearms license, or a student ID. For a full list of other acceptable items, visit our website at WJTV.com, and you can also call the number listed on your screen for more information.